Following a painful loss at the 2018 World Cup, Japan's national football team realized they were in dire need of a world-class striker. The Football Association was really determined to create a player who had a strong desire for scoring goals, a never-ending thirst for winning, and the skill to completely change the outcome of any game. In their plan to achieve this, they had to set out on a mission to bring together 300 of Japan's most skilled and promising young players. Get ready to discover how the Japan Football Football Association tried some crazy drills to make sure they got it right. So take a cup of tea and uncover the secrets of Japan's elite football academy. One of the individuals was a talented midfielder, Sae Itoshi, who had gained attention for his strong criticisms of Japan's citizens and media. Undisturbed by any obstacles, Itoshi was determined to pursue his dreams at Blue Lock, a renowned football academy known for its intense training program that was about to begin. During the first round robin tournament at Blue Lock's training center, Isagi's Team Z found themselves in a tough situation. They had to figure out how to make the most of their individual strengths and also deal with the clash of egos among the players. In the midst of a highly competitive environment, Team Z had the exciting experience of achieving a well-deserved victory against the formidable Team Y. However, they also faced an unexpected and unimaginable internal conflict within their own team. Hyoma Chigiri from Team Z was so close to completely giving up. However, they continued to pursue their ultimate goal goal. As each match opened, the stakes became increasingly higher. During the final match of the initial Blue Lock selection round, Team Z had to win in order to stay in the competition. In their way stood Team V, led by the prodigy Seishiro Nagi. They were known as the strongest team in Wing 5. As the match progressed, the players from Team Z faced a tough challenge dealing with the impressive scoring skills of Team V and Nagi's exceptional abilities. There were only 15 minutes left on the clock, and the score was tied at 3 to 3. The tension was at its highest point. Amidst this exciting atmosphere, each player was eager to experience an awakening that would take their skills to the next level. During the intense rival battles of the second selection, Isagi and Nagi experienced a devastating loss. They were defeated by Rin Itoshi and the other top strikers, resulting in the loss of Bachira. Now they were faced with a challenge of proving their own strength in a fight against Shohei Baro, who was known as the top scorer in Wing 5. They were facing high stakes and the possibility of being disqualified was hanging over them. Isagi took a step forward with the goal of positioning himself alongside the prodigies. When Isagi faced off against King Baro, he understood that their success depended on how well their playstyles complemented each other, like a chemical reaction. Isagi and Nagi had a great connection on the pitch, working together seamlessly. However, Baro seemed to have some difficulty syncing up with his new teammates. A clash of egos began, leaving everyone curious about who would come out on top. Baro's awakening was a game changer for Isagi's team. With his help, they were able to defeat Kunigami, Chigiri, and Reo. The victory paved the way for a rematch against the top three and Bachira. Isagi was incredibly determined to defeat Rin Itoshi and reclaim Bachira, and this determination fueled their drive. The question that lingered was whether Isagi's ego-driven monster would be sufficient to surpass Rin, the exceptionally talented striker. In the rematch against the top three, the players had to use their unique unique weapons to their maximum potential. However, Isagi realized that Rin was superior to him in every way. Isagi felt overwhelmed by the challenge ahead, and doubt started to creep into their mind. Is there a way for him to surpass Rin? He had to deal with questions like that. Isagi managed to pass the second selection, but it was a tough blow to his pride and he suffered a close defeat. It felt like fate was bringing Isagi and Rin closer as they got ready to tackle the challenges of the third selection. However, doubt started to cloud Isagi mind along the way. The fate of Blue Lock hinged on the shoulders of the 35 remaining strikers. They would need to take a big gamble by facing off against the strong Japanese U-20 team. The tryout for the Blue Lock 11 began, and Isagi had to show his skills against the top 6 strikers. The stage was prepared for the ultimate challenge of skill, determination, and the desire to become the top A striker that Japan required. We were on a thrilling journey, filled with uncertainty, as we delved deeper into the secrets of Japan's elite football academy. Academy. The Blue Lock 11 have been selected after going through tough tryout matches. Now they are about to embark
embark on their real challenge as they go up against the formidable U-20 team, which is led by the impenetrable defense of Saya Itoshi. In order to lead this makeshift team to victory, Ego shares the secrets of flow with the blue lock players. This concept will help them enhance their attack strategy. The highly anticipated match against Japan's U-20 representatives has begun. The blue lock 11's aggressive offensive strategy goes head-to-head -head with the enemy's solid defense, led by Captain Oliver Aiku. Everyone is watching this moment closely as the fate of Japanese football is uncertain. The fate of Blue Lock hangs in the balance of this match, and thanks to an incredible goal by Rin Itoshi, the Blue Lock 11 finished the first half with a lead. But sitting on the bench, Ryusei Shido has a mischievous grin on his face, suggesting that the U-20 team has some surprises up their sleeves. The future of Japanese football hangs in the balance. When Sai Itoshi and Ryusei Shido find their rhythm and take charge of the U-20 representative's relationship, attack. Blue Lock responds by bringing in their secret weapon, Baro. In the match, both teams are pushing themselves to the limit, going beyond any preconceived plans or strategies. They are fully immersed in the intense state of flow. The match between Blue Lock and the U-20 team is truly incredible, keeping the audience captivated as the players push themselves beyond their limits. As the competition between the Itoshi brothers intensifies, Isagi, Nagi, Bachira, and the rest of the team continue to pursue their own goals with unwavering determination. But here's the thing, could Jimpachi Ego's ambitions potentially pose a threat to Japanese football? Who do you think will score the winning goal? The Blue Lock and U-20 team's battle reaches an absolute thrilling climax. Isagi and the Blue Lock team's win against the U-20 team means that they have earned the opportunity to represent Japan on their own. After the players take a much-needed break, Jinpachi Ego starts planning the next phase of his project. Soon enough, their futures are at stake once more, this time facing off against an exceptional group of people, Blue Lock Phase 2 begins as the confident players step onto the pitch, eager to make their impact on the football world once again. The Neo Egotist League has started. During the match between Bastard Munchen and Spain's FC Barcha, Isagi is amazed to see Bachira's new and improved playing style in action. On the other hand, Isagi's teammates Kunigami, who is known for his unpredictable style, and Kaiser, who is considered a genius, demonstrates abilities that go beyond Isagi's own. German Germany's team, known as Bastard Munich, achieved their first victory by utilizing the formidable duo of Kiyoshi and Kunigami. As a result, they are now fully immersed in the excitement and intensity of the moment. Eshin just dropped a bombshell about the highly anticipated new heroic war. The excitement is still in the air as he reveals a shocking truth. As the rules expose each person's worth to the world, it becomes necessary for everyone to reevaluate their survival strategy. This leads to an escalating conflict between Kaiser and Kiyoshi. Kiyoshi is facing their next opponent, Man Shine C from England. They are determined to score goals, but Nagi, Reo, and Shigiri are standing in their way. The third match of the new heroic war starts with Shigiri scoring the opening goal, demonstrating his amazing transformation. Kiyoshi is trying to launch a counter-attack with a move called the New Combination together with Kurona. Meanwhile, Nagi is tapping into his new form with the help of Coach Chris. I am interested in Kaiser and even U-20 FW. Agi showcases their true abilities, taking the battle feel to a whole new level beyond their imagination. Kiyoshi is fueled by his intense desire for goals and his unwavering ambition. He discovers the concept of limit breaking and becomes determined to achieve it. I'm so excited because I'm finally on the verge of achieving the highly anticipated title of the best in the world. The egotists are currently experiencing a growing sense of self-awareness. Egotism can manifest in different ways. The match against Manshine C is really chaotic right now. In the third match of the new heroic war, there was an incredible comeback that took place. Isagi is determined to get revenge on Kaiser, so he makes a vow to score a goal all by himself. However, Reo is also determined to grow and develop through his own hard work. Right then and there, Nagi suggests that the idea of a united front, Reo and Nagi's decisive changes cause chaos on the battlefield like never before. The key to evolution lies in mastering the concept of transcendent vision. Go beyond all limits, Isagi, and strive to become the best in the world. The new heroic war is coming to an end with the exciting match between Germany and England. The score is currently tied, adding to the suspense. After reading about Chris's decisive move, Isagi plans to counterattack by using his foresight. But there's a problem. Yukimiya is burdened with an inescapable destiny that he cannot afford to lose against. In the midst of the clash between reason and ideal, Isagi comes up with a new way of thinking to overthrow Kaiser. Prepare to be amazed by an unexpected and remarkable awakening. The first season is concluded on a tragic note after 
a great deal of suspense and anxiety. In the final moments of the action-packed soccer anime, Isagi and his team fought it out with the International Five. But what does the future have in store? That's an answer we hope to get from the Season 2 of Blue Lock. With that, we come to the end of this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to stay updated on more anime, make sure to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications.